Tyler McGill coming off that nice start in Minnesota. His last five starts, 26 innings pitch, only nine earned runs allowed. 3.43 ERA at home. Grounded right back to McGill. He handles it and makes the toss for the first out of the night. And he breaks his bat and rolls one out to McNeil at second. And he throws out Martini two away. And a high fly ball hit to shallow right field. DJ Stewart started back, now comes on. And Tyler McGill has himself a 1 2 3 opening inning. Andrew Abbott goes to the mound for the Reds tonight. It's been a little while since he last pitched Cowboy. The Reds giving him a little extra rest. Swing and a miss. Strong start for Abbott. Makes quick work of Nimmo, who had a series of great ABs yesterday. And Alvarez pops it high into the air to left field, playable for Will Benson. He started back, now will drift in and make the catch in very shallow left field. Alvarez is the second out in the first inning. And Pete lays off, ball four. Well, the Mets have a two out base runner. And here comes Lindor, who took an 0 for 4 last night. And he stacks one up the middle for a base hit. Alonzo to second, he'll pull in there. And the Mets have two men on. Lindor batting cleanup delivers a two out single. Two on, two out. So now Ronnie Mauricio has only had 10 at bats as a right hand batter. One for 10 from this side. And he drives one toward the gap in left center field. That's down for a base hit. Around third, Alonzo, he's in to score. Mauricio is going to hold it first with his second right handed hit. And the Mets strike first. It's 1 0 New York. Mauricio, first pitch swinging, drives in his sixth run of the year and the Mets with a two out rally in the first runner off from first pitch popped up. De La Cruz calling for it makes the play two out walk comes around Reds trail after one one on with two outs and Christian Encarnacion strands the batter in comes the 1 0 and this ball is blistered toward the gap in left center field that's down in the gap and cut off by Nimmo Friedel's headed to third he'll get the stop sign there from J.R. House as Nimmo gets it back in quickly on the single by Encarnacion strand and that ball was absolutely crushed. The Mets got their run with two outs. See if the Reds can do the same. And Carnacion strand off, throw goes to third, and it sails. Friedel pops up. He jogs home, and Carnacion strand to third. The Reds tie the game. Alvarez erupted from his crouch, and he tried to get a leaning Friedel, but Mauricio was nowhere near the bag or the throw. He just comes up firing, and it's not even close to having somebody there catch it. That's drilled toward the gap in right center, but overcomes Nimmo. And he makes the grab to retire the side. Vientos at first, nobody out, and here's DJ Stewart. Swing and a miss, off balance, almost seemed uncertain. Grounded to India, to De La Cruz. In time, double play. It's an inning ender, 4-6-3. And as they did in the first inning, the Mets pick up a two-out walk. They made that one hurt. And here's Ronnie Mauricio. There goes Lindor. It's hit on the ground toward the hole, and... Backhanded by De La Cruz is thrown a first scooped out by Votto over to third goes Lindor and the Mets have runners at the corners and McNeil takes ball four and the bases are loaded. So here's Vientos with a chance to get the Mets the lead bases loaded two out struck him out the big whiff for Abbott he's got four K's and leaves him loaded games tied at one as we play in the fourth Votto's at first with one out that brings up Christian Encarnacion Strand David Bell wanted his bat in the lineup tonight sent to center. Deep shot, Nimmo way back, and that is gone. Two run homer, CES, yes, he gave a Jordan shrug to the Reds dugout as he rounded third. And the Reds have a three to one lead. That is a big man's part of the ballpark there. I mean, that's an old fashioned home run here at City Field. It clears the fence that they brought in. So two out, LaCastro at third, and now Alvarez. It has really been one of the puzzlements of Alvarez's rookie season. He has not hit lefties. 173 against lefties. But he lines this one to left field, and that's down for a base hit, and it'll go back to the wall. LaCastro is in, Alvarez to second. He's got an RBI double, and the Mets pull within a run. It's now 3 to 2. 54th run batted in for Francisco Alvarez. That pitch was supposed to be up and in. He got it up and in, but just not enough on it to get it past Alvarez. A shot that eluded Benson in left field. And that's going to be all for Andrew Abbott. Daniel Duarte comes in to try and get Pete Alonso with the tying run at second and two out. Struck him out! Against one of the most feared power hitters in the game, Duarte, a big time K. So now here is De La Cruz, who has flied to center and single. De La Cruz 
That's off the glove Lindor. He's got no play. Second base hit for Ellie De La Cruz. Here goes De La Cruz. Swing and miss. Throw down. There's another steal. 29 to lead the team for the Reds. I mean, he's like the base stealing whisperer. Half swing. Did he go? He did. Strike three. The Reds strand another runner here in the sixth inning. The Cincinnati Reds have a 3-2 lead. And it is the power part of the Mets lineup coming to the plate. First pitch. Fernando Cruz driven a deep left. Steer streaking back. Against the wall, a great play. He just joined the fray, and he tracks it down, and he robs Alvarez. That ball will find you. Alvarez thought he may have had one right here as that ball really came off the bat great. It's amazing. Alonzo right side. Votto into the outfield grass. Gives ground. India racing. Extends and makes the play on a slide. Back-to-back -back dynamite defensive plays by the Red. Well, you talk about a teammate picking up another. That's what India does right here. Comes in with a little bit better angle. Had to come a long way to get it. Amazing. One-two pitch from Cruz. Popped up high into the air. De La Cruz waiting for it. He's got it. Three up, three down, seventh to the toughest part of this Mets order. One down in the eighth. And that will bring up Jeff McNeil. Driven to right center. That's dangerous. And it's caught. Benson closes ground. He was playing a true right, and he gets to that deep gap on the track. Two down. Bouncer De La Cruz broke instantly. Gathers. Nice play. 11 in a row, cleanly retired by the Reds pin. And with Alexis Diaz not available tonight, Derek Law, who's only saved this year, came on April 3rd, is in the pitch. Three times has been asked to be the opener tonight. Has to be the closer. And he lights one the other way from base hit. Chased down by Friedel. And Vogelback is on at first base. And the Mets have the tying run aboard. And Rafael Ortega will run for Vogelback. Center field. Bader squares it up. Two down. The powerful Francisco Alvarez. RBI double. His last time up, he killed the ball to left. It was tracked down on a sprint by Steer. Swing and a liner to left. On comes Friedel. He'll play it on a hop. It's a base hit. Ortega to second. Alvarez with a big hit. His second of the game, and he's coming around with a bat now. Tying run to second. Winning run is on. Alonzo will face Law. The Mets have the guy they want at the plate with the game on the line. Ground into third. Short way second. He is the Law. Gets the ground out from Alonzo. What a solid ball game this Reds team played tonight. And this ball club just finds new ways to stay in this wild card race.